Hello everyone, it's live from Big Picture Photography. Welcome to our new series of quick but powerful Adobe Lightroom tutorials. Today we'll be talking about luminosity masks and how to use them to increase local contrast and give your images that realistic three-dimensional look. Let's have a look at that peak in the middle of the photo. On location it was actually standing out much more and I was able to see all the details clearly. Today I'll show you how to get that back in Lightroom. First I'm going to make the shadows in the peak looking much darker and much stronger. That will give a bit of extra dimension. Now I select the brush tool from the adjustments panel here and then start painting around the areas where I'd like to enhance the shadows. To make it visible where exactly I'm painting, I will select Show Selected Mass Overlay here. And let's paint a little bit. Okay, we are done here. Now I'm going to reduce the exposure of that painted area. I have to select it first and disable the overlay so I see how much darker it is. Okay, perfect. As you can see, the brush stroke is quite apparent right now. In order to fix it and apply our adjustments only to the darker area of the picture, I select this brushed area and go to Range Mask. Select Luminosity. I will select Show Luminosity Mask so I see, oh, I can see that I can actually improve this a little bit more. For good quality prints, I would of course spend much more time to do it more carefully than this. And now what I'm going to do is to take the right side of the range slider and pull it to the left. The red area is the area where the brush is applied. You can see that it disappears and only stays in the darker areas. Now what I'm also going to do is to reduce the smoothness so the mask is applied more precisely. Okay, a little bit more. Now I will disable the show luminance mask preview so I can see actually how it looks. Yes, I think it is pretty good right now. Let's play a little bit more with the exposure sliders. Oh, that's a really nice effect, especially in the top part, part of the peaks. But now it's a little bit too strong here. So we can use Erase with a flow around 50% to reduce a little bit the bottom area where it's much more visible. Now let's see before and after. As you can see the effect is already quite nice. Let's correct it maybe a little here. And now let's focus on the lights that are highlighting the peaks. To continue with that I create a new brush. And then again, paint the area I want to apply it on. I'm avoiding the lower right area 
because it's already quite bright. Okay, let's disable the overlay and try to ramp up the exposure. Right now it's quite a lot and it looks pretty strange. So again we go to range mass luminescence. But this time we're going to reduce the dark areas so that they are not applied there. We only want the highlights. And let's reduce a little bit the smoothness like before. Let's see the preview. Uh, we excluded a little bit too much. Good, so as you see, it starts to be really three dimensional. Here, I think it's a little bit too bright. So again, I will erase it. Maybe a little bit less than 50%. And the larger size. Okay. I think it looks good now. Let's see how it looks zoomed in. And check again before and after. And now it's your turn. Try it out. I hope you enjoy this short video. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter on bigpicture.photography. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.